Today, I'm going to give you the secret to winning in those multiple bid situations that are happening here in the greater Austin area. My name is Jeff Miller. I'm a residential real estate specialist focusing on Austin and the communities just north of Austin. I also have this YouTube channel called Exploring Life and Living in Austin, Texas and Beyond, which if you want to keep up on what's happening in real estate in this market, you might want to click the subscribe button right there down below. All right, so before I give you the secret to how to win in multiple bid situations, and there is a secret, and there is really one main way to do it. We'll talk about that in just a minute. I want to give you the numbers. Today is Friday, February 11th, 2022, and I want to share this week's market report with you first. So here we go. Things are a little tight in Austin right now. We have 596 new listings that came on the market this week. We also have 94 homes that reduced their prices and 110 homes that came back on the market. So it gives us a total available homes of 800 with 11% of those having price reductions and 13% of those being back on market. The fascinating thing is, first of all, our numbers are way down as you know, um, but also if you look at the prices that are being reduced, four months ago, five months ago, we were looking at 35% of homes on the market with reduced prices. Now it's only 11%, so that's very interesting. Um, houses under contract and pending this week, we have 1,015, and houses that have closed, 549 houses have closed this week. So things are a little tight in this market, but there are still houses to be bought, still houses being sold, and it is February for sure. Um, all right, let's talk about how to win in that multiple bid situation. Here's the deal, and I, I, I try to keep it simple. Um, your agent, hopefully, will run really good comps when you wanna buy a home. Look, and this is the data, and you guys know me, the data is what makes the difference here. So, if you're trying to buy a home, you need to know what those homes are selling for in that neighborhood or that subdivision. You need to know how much those homes are going over listing price. So, that sounds simple, I realize, but here's the deal. If all the homes in the neighborhood are selling for 500,000, or listing for 500,000, let's say, and they're selling on average for 550, that means that those homes are selling for 10% over the list price. So if you're not gonna make an offer that's 10% over the list price, you're probably not gonna be in the game. I know that seems lame, but that is literally what it is. It's as simple as that. Why do I say this? Because it works like this. If the agent and seller list the price correctly, then you can run comps and you should know, your agent should know that price was listed correctly. If it's listed correctly, you can then look and compare with how much those homes are selling for over that list price and give yourself that percentage over. And I say this because honestly, in my last two listings, I've had 30 plus offers, but the reality is I have like five offers on each one because the other 25 didn't do that information. They didn't have that data. Or in some cases, the client wasn't able to do it and they still made an offer, I, I get it. But the reality is this, you want to play, you got to know the data. Hey, so I hope that helps you out. Good luck on that next offer you make. If I can help you in any way, buying or selling a home in the greater Austin area, uh, my contact information is right there. Would love to help you out. Y'all have a great week.